everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Film Tip Fridays with a Z at the end. Um, just before we start today, um, I want to give credit to some users on the Apple uh, support communities. A user named Hey Ryan had actually asked how to do Glowing Eyes in Motion 5. And a user named GFX Zen had actually given the answer, and without him, I would not know how to do this. So, yeah, so I don't know if they have a YouTube channel or not, but just know GFX Zen and Hey Ryan. Thank you so much. So let's jump right into our project, or, uh, our motion project. And uh, Motion 5 is about $49.99 for US. Um, it's totally worth it. It's got some cool effects you can do. So first, if your image, once you bring in your footage, um, it might appear as two kind of layers like that. Um, if it's more zoomed in and it's cropping out the sides, just click here and shift Z and it should, yeah, and it should zoom out. So first off, we are going to go to library, behaviors, motion tracking, analyze motion. Drop in analyze motion until you get that green plus. And now you will have this red dot, and you're going to drag it over one of your eyes. And you can track anything, but for this video, we're doing glowing eyes. And you're going to do both eyes. So you're going to need another analyze motion. Drag it till you see that green plus, and keep, make sure your timeline, like a cursor or whatever, or the head, is always at the front, because it's, stuff will get screwed up. So with this second analyze motion, we are going to drag it on the other eye that. So now, let's just name them. This will be the right eye for the person, for me in the video. And this will be the left eye. So yeah, this is just to make it look easier. You don't have to, uh, oh, let's get rid of that motion thing at the end. Um, yeah, so um, this is just to make it a little easier for um, you to like uh, comprehend and just be able to view everything. So, yeah, it's not necessary at all. By no means do you actually have to do it just to make it more organized. So now you can see that over here it is wherever. Make sure it's at the top because this is at the beginning because if it's here, then this is just, like, not even on your eye anymore. So always keep this at the front. So for both of these, you are actually going to analyze so you're gonna click these and you don't see it with my recorder but uh, a window comes down with like a a loading bar it takes a little bit so I'm going to analyze both eyes by clicking analyze and it actually if you will look you can see that since I'm um, actually on the left eye hang on if you um yeah I just I wasn't on the right eye layer, so it didn't show the tracking. But anyway, back to it. While it's tracking, uh, you don't see this window here, but it's telling me the percent. But you also see the trail that it's going on as it moves around. So you got to do this for both eyes. And if you see an X somewhere, that is uh, just where it could not detect that part of the eye or that area. You can fix that with like keyframing or some more advanced editing. But that's another video. Just Look it up, keyframing in Motion 5 or fixing the analyzed motion of something. So yeah, I'm going to come back to you after I've analyzed both eyes. So yeah. Okay, so now we have tracked both eyes. And as you can see, that's the X I was talking about, which can be fixed with uh, keyframing and animation, you know, editing, whatever. So just look that up. Uh, we're not covering that today. So now you have, let's just bring your cursor thingy head back. So what you're going to do now is go on the movie layer, go to the Bezier tool, which is over here, and if it doesn't look like this paintbrush with this little, like, connected line, hold down a click on it and make sure you go over Bezier. You could also do Command-B, but make sure it's on this Bezier. So what you're going to do now is zoom in to the eyes, and you are going to trace the outline of the eye, or wherever you want the glow, as a matter of fact. So I've realized that when you click shorter distances, it gives you more curve and more like uh, 
room to kind of move around a little. If you go too far out, just long straight lines, it actually um, it looks a little jagged and not as good. So you're just going to do it both times for both eyes. You are going to get two beziers. So let's go like that. Uh, that did not look too good. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so it's going to... It, depending on how perfect you want it to look, it may take a try or two. So let's just, uh, yeah. So that actually looks really creepy. <laughs> just pointing that out. But, um, so yeah. But if you notice, it doesn't track to my eyes. So that's issue number one. So uh, first, let's just name the layers. So this would be the right eye. No, uh, for, for the person in the video, me, it would be the left eye, actually. Because this is actually helpful for the coming up step. So, right eye. Now, what you can do is, when you click on these, you can go to your inspector up here, and you can feather it, kind of make it more smoother on the sides, add that nice little glow. Um, so, that was eight. Go to the other eye. It only applies to the one you're selected to. Probably could do both at the same time, but... Maybe by selecting both, but uh, that's for another time. Um, so that's just to make it a little more. And just to get rid of those things around it, just click on your video if you want to view it. So zoom out, and that actually looks pretty creepy. I mean, my eyes are like white, but again, it doesn't track. So this part, I, I always mess up on this part. After I have multiple tries on this tutorial, but just stick with me. Okay, so what you're going to do. Don't look down here, because it looks really messy. There's three objects, yada yada. Okay, so up here, go on one of the eyes. So left eye. All right, so the left eye is selected. Go to the library, behaviors, motion tracking. Match the motion. Now drag it up so you get the red plus, and um, this layer is highlighted. Drag it down. So now you get this little, like, smooth kind of rectangle-ish thing around the eye. So what you're going to do is after you're here, Make sure you're selected on the match move right here. Go to your inspector and source it to the same eye it is. So it's it's on the left eye, so source it to the left eye, which analyzed the motion. This was the thing we did in the beginning when we tracked the eye. So you're referencing that. See, this keeps happening to me, and I don't know why. Um, the eye keeps moving to the side, but if this happens, what you just need to do is... Bring it right there. So then it should stay where it's supposed to be. See, at the end, it can't actually... That's where we got our X, so it cannot track the eye. That won't always happen. Um, just make sure you're looking the eye the whole time. The camera, I mean. So yeah, if your eye happens to be pushed over for some reason, if you know why that happens, please comment. Just uh, drag it right to where it should be. And now, the eye is staying to me, and it looks super cool. So then go to your other eye, which didn't get the match move yet, and just drag another one. And you're going to source the um, the corresponding eye, which would be the right eye. So yeah, for uh, some reason, that one didn't move over. It might just be an error in the beginning when we analyzed, but yeah, just move it over if it, that happens. So now... This is where it gets fun, uh, as the user on the Apple thing had said. They actually said, um, GFX Zen had said that here's where things get fun in parentheses for this these following steps. So, yeah, so uh, this is cool. So now, you could honestly keep it like this. It looks like a scary demon. You know, it's pretty creepy. It's neat. You can see how the eye kind of falls off there because it, uh, some tracking errors because I wasn't looking that well, but, um, yeah, that's all just more advanced editing to fix it, but you honestly, if it's a quick scene, a little scene like this, it looks pretty scary. So now, this is where we customize our creepy eye. So what you can do is Command D, and you can duplicate the eye layers, and like make them less opaque or more feathered, so you kind of get like, like a... A thing like that like a cool like like that that's pretty cool so now like there's like a glow around it because you duplicated the layer so 
Let's duplicate that because that was pretty sick. So this is kind of where let your creativity um, kind of flow. So it was like 33. So yeah, this is really super awesome. So, uh, like that, yeah. So, yeah, that's where it gets awesome. And let's say you want a different eye color. What you can actually do is go back to your Bezier, change the fill color. Let's say you want, um, no, not orange, we want scary red. Um, red, of course, you're going to have to change the other layer you made to that red, too. So, they both kind of overlap with each other. So yeah, that's actually sick. We have two. See, the red kind of blends with the skin a little better, but that's pretty creepy, right? Two colored eyes. So, and you can basically just play around with some of the settings on the Beziers, but make sure if you duplicated it, you apply the colors to both. And if you really want to get advanced, you can go to the particle emitters. And what you can do, like you can find... Let's say you want like like this blast on your eye. You can actually add it in. And what you can do, uh, first let's just arrange it to one of the eyes. Let's arrange it to this eye. You can add another match motion like that. And then you can reference the eye that you would like to have it follow. So, see, this is the leave. What eye is this? Oh my God, we added so much. I don't even know what eye this is. But um, what you're just gonna do is you're just going to reference the bottom ones, which are the analyzed motions. Uh, this. Oh, this is the left eye. What am I talking? About? I can just look over here. So yeah, uh, this would be the left eye. So now, the explosion follows the eye. See, as it's moving, the smoke, it's a short effect, but see how it goes like that? And then at the end, of course, that's where we got our X's, and it doesn't track very well. But um, let's move it over here, so we got some nice, cool effects. So this is great for horror movies. Honestly, I can't wait to try this out. Um, it's going to be sweet. Um, here's where this stuff is. But yeah... I had, yeah, the reason, yeah, all right, just make sure wherever your cursor is, that's where it's going to start tracking where that eye is, so that's why when I moved it there, it wasn't where it was, so yeah, you can add, you can just use creativity and see what particle emitters you want coming out of your eye, like, it could be really cool, some really cool stuff, like, that, I, I have to try this, it's just going to be so sick, like, look at this, is this not so cool, can you have, like, Looks like a firework coming out of your eye. So then you just go to your library. Behaviors, motion tracking, match the move. And now we just reference the right eye and just move it on over if it got pushed. And see, yeah, uh, the issue, this is a common mistake. When you place it, when you start referencing it, um, you need it to be at where you want it to happen and when you bring it in. So, oh my god. Yeah, so yeah, it can actually get a little like mishmashed and all complicated like that. But that, this is just if you want to be awesome and do some cool stuff. So let's try that match move again. Because it didn't work that well last time. And you're just going to go inspector and reference it to the right eye. And it follows it. See, you can arrange it a little bit if it's not perfect. And now you have that coming out of your freaking eye. And that is pretty sick, if you ask me. So now just go to your original layer and press play. And we have some pretty sick glowing eyes. And... It looks awesome. So, yeah, you can even have, like, your eyes shot out and stuff. And that actually looked pretty cool at the end where the eye couldn't track anymore. It kind of, like, slides out if you look closely like that and goes there. 
so yeah, um, that's kind of a weird face that I made, but, um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Film Tip Fridays, and like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Stay tuned for more horror movies. It's going to be awesome. We got tons of stuff coming up. Um, so, yeah, let me know what effects you want to learn how to do. So, yeah.